Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 37, and this is war number three. And we're going to be against an alliance called Serbian Elite. All right, so let's go ahead in here. First, let's see who they banned. All right, they banned Kingpin, Hercules, and Ghost. Of course, my Spider-Man 2099 is globally banned, and... Um, Human Torch is whitelisted. All right, let's take a peek in here. I'm getting in a bit late. I was out with my sister for her birthday. All right, so we already know that Namor can take him. I'm a little bit more concerned about Havoc. If I can time it right when the detonations are about to happen, then we're good. If not, we're going to be taking a lot of damage. And we may even die. So, ugh. that fight is is may not be all that fun. And then both my alliance mates are sitting here waiting, apparently for me, to take this Sauron. I don't know. I guess I can, I can use Claire. And, uh take that Sauron. That's not going to be a fun fight, though. Um, I also need Claire for these two guys here. And then a Nebula for that Nimrod. But I will wait because of Conduit. I'll wait for them to get the boss down. Because Conduit, as you can see, messes with Nebula's shock. It'll just make things a little bit more difficult and there's no need for all that. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. All right. I'll be back with the fighting. All right. I'm going in with uh, what has become my standard team. Uh, Nebula has proven herself through many fights. And uh, definitely surprised by that. But I'm very happy I, I took her up to deal with that Nimrod, because she is far better than I thought. All right, so first fight is Colossus, which I know what they were doing. I know why they, they put Colossus here, and it's a good uh, placement for him. I just happen to have a cheese counter in Namor. Namor is definitely the, the cheese option for this path. Now, in the uh, Lost Wars, season 36, that's when I first encountered this node. And I tried it with Claire, because I usually fought this path with Claire. She got wrecked. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's an anti-Claire path, that's for sure. I went and um, <clears throat> went to uh, my uh, alliance and was like, okay, who can I use for this? And there are some options, but when they mentioned you could also cheese it with Namor, I said, wait, I can't. I was like, it just so happens that I have a rank three Stig 200 Namor that I haven't been using for, you know, quite a bit. Let's try it. And he killed it. I was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Love it. Now, Havoc, normally when I see Havoc, I know I got to have a particular counter. However, Namor can do it. Just got to be very aggressive. All right. And you also have to make sure that you're attacking him when that plasma detonation goes off. All right. See, I'm, I'm up to eight and I didn't do it there because he decided to attack me. And so the plasma detonation went off. OK, but you have to kind of time it sometimes it, it doesn't work out all right see there we go that time i was able to uh attack him while the plasma detonations were going off and he took all that down all right so you can see here and i got detonated there and i'm like okay maybe this wasn't such a great idea all right but here we go we got enough of them that, um, there we go. Boom. 
Uh, we got enough of the plasma detonations while we were attacking that I was able to take him down. A little dicey, but it works. Um, I don't know if Nebula would have done that fight uh, very well. I don't, I'm not sure. I know Havoc has a high resistance to energy. But, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, but Namor got the job done, and that's really um, the only place that I'm using Namor in these wars, but he's really good at it. All right, so you see me here sitting, and I'm like, hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm sending some chats because I see Sauron. And uh, I'm like, okay, who's going to take this Sauron? And nobody really likes fighting Sauron. See, vigorous assault, all that good stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll do it. And let me tell you, I don't fight Sauron all that well. You see what I did there. All right, and I'm just like, okay, here we go. All right, cool, cool. So far, so good. All right, we're doing well, we're doing well. His unblockable is ready, so now this is the time that I hate. And I really want to push him to a special two. Okay, the special two is a little easier even when it's unblockable. See, much easier to deal with when he's unblockable. All right, he tried to sidestep me there, but I was waiting for him. And you'll notice that Flair is um, nullifying his unblockable. And he wasn't unblockable there, which is why I was able to block that. And we went, and it did, and we went well. I, I honestly was a little nervous about that fight because I can sometimes evade his special one. And if he goes unblockable, and fires the special one. Yeah. Now, Guardian, fighting Guardian is just a little annoying because I can't really rely on specials. And if they've put Guardian in as a defender, you could be sure he's got a high SIG. If not SIG 200, very, very high. So, basically just have to fight him without specials. Um, and if you're going to fire a special attack, make sure it's a special three. Um, there are times where I can get in a special and he doesn't auto block it. Look at that. He dexed my heavy attack. Y'all saw that, right? Okay. Anyway, um, you can see here I'm not trying to fire off my special uh, one or two. All right, so there we go. Finally got my uh, special three off. And at least I know he can't auto block that. And it does a good amount of damage as you see. Not bad, not bad at all. So that's pretty much how I do the fight. I usually will try to block those. They don't do that much damage into my block. Uh, but sometimes I like to evade it. It's just kind of reflex. I have to really think about not evading that special. Boom. What a finish. I think he was already knocked out before the special hit him, but it was a, it was a, a straightforward fight. All right, now, um, I think, yeah, I think I waited on this one. I wanted to... Uh, see if they would get the uh, boss down so I didn't have to deal with the uh, global. I mean, sometimes the global doesn't really matter all that much, but why deal with it if I don't have to? That's, that's kind of my philosophy. But as you can see here, the boss is not down, and it wouldn't matter because the global didn't really matter. Uh, this is not a, a champion that benefits from the global. And if I remember correctly, I thought he did. And he doesn't. Uh, I think we asked the question and someone said, yeah, he's not, he doesn't benefit from it. And I was like, oh, well, I could have taken him out yesterday, you know. So good to know, good to know. 
So it's basically just a regular um, Dragon Man fight. Okay, we nullified it. Unfortunately, he always gets his uh, power game back. Okay, but I can at least stop it by parrying, so that's nice. And if we can just get him to fire his special off, it'd be cool. All right, there we go. All right, and I blocked the last one so that I could kill that power game. The uh, last part of his heavy. And I switched into poison mode because it has a little bit of a uh, power control. So, you know, we try to bait out what we can. All right, we're gonna get hit on purpose there. Um, at least one of the hits from the special so that we can kill the power game. And then I'm in uh, Curse of Plague, which took down uh, some of his power as well. So that's pretty much how uh, I did this fight here. Not too difficult, but if you let that power game get out of control, you're gonna be facing a special three. And I really didn't wanna face a special three. All right, and then we've got Nimrod. So I was going to be using Nebula, of course, for Nimrod. And I read the global, and I was like, oh, man, I can't do that. But see, Conduit, he's not a, a Conduit defender. I didn't know that. So I was waiting, and I didn't really have to. I could have just went ahead and uh, cleared my path uh, the night before. But I didn't know. But now I do. And... Let me tell you, once I started, this is why I took up Nebula in the first place, was to fight Nimrod. Uh, those of you who remember me fighting Nimrod, I would take him on with a Warlock, and I beat him, and I lost to him. And I don't remember the last, who, who had the last uh, win. Um, and folks were saying, just, just, go in with Nebula. She she takes care of him easy. And I actually went in, I think, the first time with a rank two Nebula. And when I saw how well she did, I took her to rank three. All right, now, I think, I think that, yeah, they asked me to um, take out this Hyperion. This was not a good fight, let me tell you. Um, I have not fought Hyperion on this node. All right, and so this is my first time. As you can see, there's Conduit. And I'm like, wow. Hazard Shift, Incinerate Poison, Stun Immune, Hyperion. Back in the day, this would have scared me out of my wits. Just Stun Immune, Hyperion, used to wreck me back in the day but we got hazard shift and stun immunity so i gotta deal with his power gain you know he don't always like to fire his specials off until he's at a special three and i'm just like i was like well they're asking me to to do it and i was i was wondering why red hulk because we used to just have somebody with red hulk but that person is no longer in the Alliance. I didn't realize that. We no longer had the person who took this node with his Red Hulk. And I was like, oh, because if I knew I was gonna need to take this fight, I would try to bring a counter, you know? But it is what it is. And they felt that I had the best chance to deal with this. So I said, okay. Um, thanks for the vote of confidence. I was not very confident in myself, seeing as how I had never done this fight before. So you can see here, I'm not even going to play. I'm putting up that invulnerability because I'm not playing with him. I just know I'm going to get hit with a special three. All right, so here we go. Now, the thing about this fight is that there's so much to deal with. Okay, so here I'm trying to back off and boom, 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 there goes the indestructible. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, because I was in the corner. I was trying to back off and wait out the, um, uh, the, uh, 
the mode, I guess. All right, there's the special three I knew I was gonna get hit by. And I was like, okay. Well, for a first try, it was uh, interesting. All right? And so I'm just like, okay. And just look at that, boom, done. But guess what? I'm the type of person that learns from my defeats. And I said, okay, I see. I see how this fight goes. I got something, I got a plan. All right, I looked to see that I still had my indestructible. Now, if I had not gotten caught in the corner with his heavy attack, I would have still had, you know, my, my uh, invulnerability and um, the fight might have gone a little bit differently. So I, now I'm thinking, okay, do not get trapped in the corner and try to get him blocking so you can hit into the block to get space, okay? So you can see here, I'm doing the same thing I did the first time, but look at that. Did you see that? See, when he started this heavy attack, I wasn't playing with him. You see how I'm hitting into the block? That's the difference, okay? So I got out of that mode, boom, he hit me twice again. Now that pissed me off because I shouldn't have gotten hit. I was like, what's going on? Why did I get hit there? I was like, whatever. All right, see this? I still have an indestructible. So I'm like, okay, let's go. No problem. All right. And I'm like, okay, I think I got the hang of this. I got the hang of this. And there we go. See, and there's that incinerate mode, but you see I'm hitting into his block to get space because I do not want to get trapped. And it also eats away at the timer. So now he's in poison mode, okay? So here we go. All right, and then he's back in incinerate. Now, one thing that I had forgotten, I forgot to go into um, my poison mode. So I'm just like noticing that, and I got, you know, when I saw myself healing, I was like, oh, I'm still in Curse of Blood. So you see, I just switched to poison, all right? Because poison has also the added benefit of having a little power control, okay? Now you see, I'm not even letting him. I'll take a little bit of the uh, incinerate just to deal with that. Now I could have gone into incinerate mode instead, but I like the poison mode because of the poison control. I mean, the uh, power control. See, look at that, much better much better come on we got this see i'm not even letting him finish his heavy attack all right and we got a little bit of that and boom done all right so i learned the fight you saw it um so we'll be back in a minute and you will find out the results of this war how did we do did we win did we lose coming right up and we're back and unfortunately we lost this war but that's going to do it guys thank you all for watching feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day